Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we'll look at how we can harden and secure Debian. The, the commands we're going to be running are going to be on the terminal. So let's go ahead and search for terminal here. And then we'll begin. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your the packages on your system are up to date. There's uh, different commands you can run. You can do sudo apt update and then sudo apt upgrade dash y. So this command could take a while depending on how long it's been since you did the upgrade. So I'm not going to run this command. The other command you might want to run is sudo apt-dist upgrade dash y and then you can do apt or remove to remove unnecessary packages dash y so the next thing you want to do is you want to secure your accounts now you can disable root login and you can do that by running the command sudo pass wd dash l root and that should disable root login and you can also restrict ssh access by removing root login we'll need to edit the sshd config file so using our text editor we can do sudo nano nano etc search so this is the file we want to edit sshd and you just want to find the line that says permit root login and change that to no so this is it right here you want to uncomment and then you want to change this to no Now, if you're using SSH keys only for login, you can also edit the line that says password authentication. You can change that one to no as well. So once you have your changes done, you can just save the file. And that's, and that's that for the SSH. Another thing you might want to do is to install and uh, enable a firewall. You can use the UFW or uncomplicated firewall. Now to install it, we'll do sudo apt install install ufw but for yes and now you can configure some rules you can say for instance to deny all incoming anything that's coming from outside your, your computer or your network into trying to access your computer you can deny that using sudo ufw default deny incoming and then you can allow anything that's originating from your computer you can say sudo ufw default allow allow out, outgoing and if you have say applications or services you want to access on this computer you can allow those services using rules also let's say you want to uh, allow access to ssh you can do sudo ufw allow ssh if you wanted to allow http https https you can allow those and then you can go ahead and uh, enable the file sudo ufw enable now you, and now we can check the status of the UFW, you can you can say sudo UFW status, and it tells you what services or protocol can be accessed. The next thing you might want to do is you might want to disable unnecessary services. You can begin by listing the services that are running. You can do sudo system ctl list units type type equals service type service and then state equals
who's running and this should give you a list of all the services that are running now when it comes to disabling a service the command you will use is sudo system ctl disable now and then you you'll have to put the name of the service let's say avh daemon and that disables that service so you you have to know what services you don't need now if you wanted to audit your system there's different tools available that you can use now with the the tools for auditing so with an auditing tool there's different things it can check for you like what services are running what you have configured and what you might need to configure or what you need to disable let's see so let's go ahead and see an example of an auditing tool we can install a tool called Linus. so to install it sudo apt install Linus. and just do sudo lines audit audit system and it's going to run some checks and see what you are running as far as uh, services what tools you are running what configurations you have enabled what you might be missing So as you can see, it's doing quite a few checks on here and this could take a while. Once it's done, you can go through the output and decide what you think you you might need to fix on your device. So I'll go ahead and uh, end this. Uh, so there's many more things you might want to do. Uh, for instance, you, you'll need to consider doing uh, regular backups. So you could also do unattended upgrades so you could run commands to do unattended upgrades you can do sudo apt install and then unattended upgrades and then you can also do sudo dpkg reconfigure unattended upgrade so you could also monitor logs on your system there's different ways you can monitor logs on the system you could do sudo journal ctl f this would allow you to view logs as they come in so you could have a terminal running and any new logs that come in you'll be able to see those logs you can also filter the logs on the system if you want to see specific logs so you can add grep to filter the logs so if i end this i could do on a ctl then i could grab for let's say i just want to see for the user you know so you can go through the logs and see what the user you know might have uh, done on the system so that's all for this video so there's many other things you can do to to harden and secure your Debian machine. So those are just uh, some of the things you can do. I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.